There's two battles going on at the moment in the Conservative Party, one from the right, one from the left wing. And the one from the right wing, about 60 people, want to make the uh, immigration, the illegal immigration bill of Suella Brabham's even tougher. People like uh, Jonathan Gullis, of course, he would have to be there. People on the other side, like Tim Lawton, want to ensure that there are safe and legal routes for people to come to the UK should they want to um, claim asylum. So far, there are very few safe and legal routes. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to put in legislation which is going to stop people coming uh, to the, uh, stop people claiming asylum when actually people can't claim asylum. It's, uh, it, it's nonsensical. But this isn't about practical politics. This is about sending messages to potential electors. This is about the May election and it's setting up for the general election. I don't think this policy is ever intended to work. I think the idea of stopping the boats, this, is, this isn't even a conservative policy. This is a policy literally with the slogan picked up from Australia from a policy which was condemned absolutely by the United Nations. Now, Australia didn't suffer any great um, uh, uh, legal casualties because of that condemnation, probably because it didn't seem worth it at the time. But if we try and do exactly the same thing that Australia did, knowing that Australia was castigated, we are going to have the full force of the United Nations legal system on our backs. We are going to become uh, international pariahs. We are going to be thrust away from the international community. And we will probably have penalties imposed by Europe, just as we're trying to seek trade deals. It is absurd, utterly, utterly absurd that we're going down this route. And at the same time, we're trusting a country like Rwanda with serious human rights problems itself that need addressing. I don't understand how this is possible. We have places where if we want to, if we want to offshore, if we want to offshore um, our... Uh, immigration problem. There are British territories that we could use. Why are we not thinking of those first? Uh, I don't agree with the offshoring um, policy, but I don't understand why we are not only offshoring it, but also um, giving it to other countries with a very uncertain reputation. I'm all for giving other countries opportunities. This is not an opportunity. This is a public crucifixion. We want another country which is barely getting itself back on the feet to be as internationally lambasted as we will be. I don't think that's very reasonable. Anyway, let's see how this goes.